Here with Coach Graham Miller after Stevenson falls 2-0 to St. Mary's today. Coach, let's start offensively. You had your chances. Uh, nine corner kick opportunities in the match, but for a second straight match, just not able to get any of them in the back of the net. Well, you know what? I think, um, you know, I don't think we really need to talk about the offense. I think we need to talk about the, you know, the performance as a whole. And, you know, I'm always honest with the girls. You know, I believe in honest feedback. And I just told them, I mean, that's probably the worst performance I've seen here um, in the 10 years I've, I've, I've been a part of this program. So the girls know it's disappointing. They just didn't come to play today. There's a team that had, you know, only had maybe four or five subs that outworked them. That was first to every ball that, um, you know, had obviously more shots. You know, we, we, we had the depth today to be able to cause that team problems. And because of the, you know, either the the lack of intensity, the lack of effort, lack of energy. It really was, you know, like I said, one of the worst performances I've seen, and it was a poor effort, and it doesn't fit the Stevenson women's soccer program. So, um, you know, all aside about the offense, yeah, we did have some, but, you know, we should have beaten that team three or four nothing with the depth we had. So, you know, that's where the disappointing thing comes in. They need to know, they need to take accountability for, for that performance and move on from it. I, I know you're not going to want to hear about excuses, but it was really hot today. I know that's a factor. But, you know, you know, that's what I'm saying. It's really hot for both teams. And when one team's only playing with four or five subs, mm -hmm. and you have 15, I made 14, 14 or 15 subs in the first half, mm -hmm. and we had two shots to their four. Um, so that tells you that, well, wait a minute, the heat's affecting both teams, but one team's working hard, a lot harder than the other one. So we, we've got the talent. There's definitely talent there on this team, and we've shown that against Gettysburg the other night, against Methodist last week. But for some reason today, the other team just, they came to play and we didn't. Tiffany McKee had to come out a lot and play some balls well out of the net, and she was asked to do a lot of things. I think, you know, at the end she ends up giving the two goals up, but I think that she came out and made a lot of risky plays yes. and played really well. She did great. You know, she was one, you know, one of only three three girls that I thought did well today. Riley Patterson, the freshman that played outside back the whole second half, and then Kelsey Krupski that came in as a forward, and that was her first performance. So I think, you know, the three of them, including Tiffany, actually, you know, did come to play today. And, you know, Tiffany was keeping it as the game. She had kept us in the game, and because we kept on giving the ball, all the way in midfield and then the defense was too slow to react at times and you know she, she did as much as she could so I can't fault Tiffany in this time. You have this is the first six straight at home how much do you think this stretch can help these girls grow and move past a performance well, like this? Fair. I mean it's always like you know that's what you know like I said yeah it's the worst performance we've seen but we're, we'll be over it tomorrow and we move on and we get ready for practices Monday and Tuesday and then we get you know we get the next five games at home so you know there's plenty of room to improve it's early in the season and um, you know it's, it's going to be a test of their you know you know, test of, you know, what, what they're made of, their character, to see if they can rise above this and put in a better performance next time. Coach, appreciate your honesty. Best of luck going forward. No problem. You're welcome. All right. Thanks again, Glenn.